All right, so I'm gonna be doing my CD collection right here. I don't have way too many CDs or anything like that, but yeah, um, nothing crazy like my movies. <laughs> so yeah, let's get it started. Um, yeah, uh, just to let you know, I do have thousands and thousands of songs on my uh, iPod and my phone and whatnot. Um, I don't have you know everything on a CD, obviously. The reason was, um, I wouldn't really buy CDs that much, I'm more of like a buy it online or digitally or whatever, download it, you know, kind of person. Um, but I do buy CDs when they're, you know, if it's an artist, like there's particular artists where, where I'll buy their CDs, um, like The Weeknd, I keep up with all his stuff, I buy, I'll buy all his CDs. I'll buy Kendrick Lamar's, all his CDs, J. Cole, and I'm a fan of all genres too, just to let you know, so you're going to see like a mishmash of stuff. And I'll also own a CD maybe just by a random thing that happened, or if it was on sale, something like that. I'll explain each one, basically, if I need to explain it. So, first off, let's start. I have, the way I have it organized, um, it's an ABC order by artist, and then um, with each artist I have it in, or in the order that it came out. So that's the order I have it in. So first we got Tupac. It's the best of Tupac, part one, Thug. Um, the reason why I don't have part two or anything like that is because this is the edited version. Don't ever buy CDs from Walmart. I did not know this. When you buy a CD from Walmart, it's always like censored. I don't think they sell uncensored CDs. It's kind of stupid if you ask me. So the reason why I bought this was uh, I was at Walmart one time and I saw the CD and I said, oh, I don't own any... I don't own any Tupac music, actually. I don't have any of his music. And it's supposed to be, like, greatest hits, right? So it's got two of America's Most Wanted. Like, I know his music, but I just didn't have any of it. So I said, all right, I'll just buy this. It's five bucks, right? But I should have noticed the uh, edited part. It says right at the bottom. You can't really see it. So, yeah. That's what happens. ACDC, Back in Black. One of my favorite bands of all time. Um, this was a good price, so I just bought it. ACDC Rock or Bust, this was their new album, so I bought it the day it came out, and also because it had a really cool kind of cover there. See, look, it's like exploding. And this album wasn't too bad. I mean, ACDC, all their stuff sounds pretty much the same, but that's just how they are. And it sounded, you know, after all these years, they still got it, so. And then we got, this is a band called Alive Like Me, um, Only Forever. Now, if anybody listens to, like, metal music or hardcore music, whatever, I was at a concert, um, that had Beartooth, uh, Vanna, I think that's how you pronounce it, Vanna, V-A-N-N-A, -A. um, and they also had this band there called Alive Like Me, and they were like the opening act or whatever, they got a lot more popular now, but after the show, we were all hanging out outside, and, uh, this band was outside, and I was like, oh, cool, you're the lead singer, right? And, like, he went up, to, he was going up to people, and he was trying to sell their first, I think this is their first CD, so he was like, oh, please buy this, buy this, buy this, I said, all right, I'll buy it from you, and they gave me a big hug, so. The CD's alright, it's not my kind of thing, like, this is more like, it even says, for fans of, uh, there was like a thing on it that said that, I think it's, for, yeah, the sticker that was on the front, it said for fans of Sleeping with Sirens, Mayday Parade, and Pierce the Veil, which I'm not really into, my sister's more into that stuff, and she liked this, so I, liked, I was like, alright, you can listen to this, you can copy the songs, whatever, put it on your phone, but yeah, they're not terrible or anything, it's just, that's not my thing. And then we got Attila, which is fantastic. Uh, they're not fantastic. They're just like a guilty pleasure. And their fourth album is, or not their fourth, their sixth album is called Gu Guilty Pleasure. The fourth one I have, though. I have Rage, which is their third album. Uh, Outlawed, About That Life, Guilty Pleasure. I love all of Attila. The reason why I don't have their first two albums is because they're extremely hard to find. The first album is like impossible to find. They only made like 700 or something like that. <laughs> which was called Fallacy, which is really good. Um, their second album was Soundtrack 2 Party, which is really good too, but that's very hard to find. It's out of print. And then we got um, August Burns Red. I only have three of their albums. Uh, Messengers, which is like 2007, I want to say, which is fantastic. Constellations, I don't know what year that was. Found in Faraway Places, that's their new album. But I also do have Rescue and Restore. Um, I copied it from my friend's CD. I have the full thing on my phone. But August Burns Red's fantastic. I've seen them twice already. And then we got Event Sevenfold, which is like my third, no, my, 
it's in my top five favorite bands of all time. Like I rank Beatles, Fleetwood Mac, and Led Zeppelin as my top three. I would I would put Event Sevenfold in my top five because I love them so much. Like I followed them for years and years. I've never got to see them in concert though. It's the unfortunate part. One day I'll be able to though, hopefully. So I have all their albums. The first album, yeah, Waking the Fallen. But this is the resurrected version that comes with like. You know, this is basically like a deluxe version of Waking the Fallen, basically, that came out in 2014. And that came with a flag, actually, because I bought it from Best Buy. <laughs> so it came with this huge flag, but what I ended up doing, I traded it for my friends. This one I thought was cooler, because the flag it came with was, like, pretty plain. And plus, he bought a truck, so I traded with him so he could use that flag for his truck. And then this can't be, this is not, like, an actual flag. It's more like a silk thing, so I decided, I'll just take this. You can keep the actual flag and use it for your truck. So... And this is cooler to display, like I said, it has more stuff on it. Anyways, um, and then City of Evil, their third one. Again, this was from Walmart. This is edited. There's a lot, there's like some curse words on here. Like, they don't curse that much anymore, really. But like on this CD, there was some cursing on some songs, and they were sent and censored, which sucks. Fourth album, self-titled. And then we got Ben Sevenfold Live in the LBC and Diamonds in the Rough, which is a concert. That they had, which was filmed, obviously. That's a DVD, and then there's a CD with a bunch of songs they never used. Some of the songs were okay, nothing fantastic. And, oh, if you're wondering, by the way, too, why I bought this from Walmart when they said, you know, why did I get that from Walmart? I'll never buy from them again. Um, I actually didn't take into consideration uh, Event 7 will have curse words on here. I forgot about that when I was buying it. And I was surprised to see this in stores. I was, like, looking all over stores to find their CDs because I wanted to have all their stuff on CD. And yeah, so that's why that's why that happened. I just didn't think about it. <laughs> we got Nightmare, of course. Um, yeah, chronologically, this is before Nightmare because uh, this had the rev on it and whatnot. And this came out before Nightmare came out. And then we got Hail of the King, which is their newest album, which is okay, nothing fantastic. Boss, last winner, B A S Boss. He's a rapper from uh, Dreamville Records. And I just completely dropped the CD. Let me fix that real quick. Anyways, so, Boss, um, this is fantastic, I love this, he's a great rapper, um, Dream Mill is a record label that was made by J. Cole, I'm sure you've heard of him, I have all his stuff right over here, I'll get to it, um, but Boss is, for me, the best rapper on his label, I'll buy all of Boss's CDs, this is great, and this was like a Best Buy exclusive that came with like a, the bonus track, I think Lit, the 13th track there, that was a bonus, but yeah, I got to see Boss, cause I got to see J. Cole in, uh, Last July, or no, August. Yeah, I saw him in August. He's dropping stuff, Jesus. Because I'm holding the camera with one hand, that's why. But uh, I saw J. Cole in August, and Boss was one of the opening rappers, along with Big Sean and YG and Jeremiah, so it was pretty cool. And Cause was there, and Omen, the other two guys signed to Dreamville, but they're not, you know, they're not as good to me. Um, Beartooth Sick, that's their LP, I think, that's what you call it, LP, before they have an album release, and, you know, a studio album, I should say. This only has four songs, uh, it's called Sick, Beartooth. I actually do have Beartooth's main record, forgot to show you, their main album, it's over here. The reason why I don't have it is because it's, uh, well, I don't have it in the shelf, I should say, is because it's autographed, because I got to meet them and stuff. This was the first time, that was at that show I was telling you about where I saw Alive Like Me, um, I met them outside too after the show, and then we got to got, get them to sign our stuff. That's me with the lead singer from Vana, Davey Muse. Those are the people I went with. Um, yeah, so that's why Beartooth's not over here. But I do have both of their albums, and I love Beartooth. They're fantastic. And their third album should be done. I think it's done, actually. I read a thing that said they were done with it, so I can't wait till that comes out. And then the Beatles, I don't own all the Beatles stuff, but I put like my favorites, Sgt. Pepper, The White Album, Abbey Road, fantastic. Abbey Road's like my second favorite album ever. No, my third. And Sgt. Pepper's like my fourth, so. <clears throat> and then the Beatles, Let It Be. Again, one of my favorites. Um, that is Big Sean's new album. Um, not sure why I bought it. I don't know, I was just kind of in like Big Sean mode. <laughs> Childish Gambino because of the internet, or because the internet, which has a cool, like, lenticular cover going on. It's weird. Like, he becomes, like, all blur blurred out. Um, that was, like, on sale for a good price. And, and plus, I like Childish Gambino, so I said I might as well just get a CD. And then this thing, this is, like, 
DJ Organic Mega Man Coin Op or Mega Ran, I should say, Coin Op Crush. Now, the reason why I have this, this be, this came in a loot crate. If anyone gets a loot crate, and they had like an arcade theme, I think, or something like that, related to video games, and this was just like a random CD that came in it. This is kind of like a uh, hip hop rap album, I guess you could say, but it's like got eight bit theme to it. It's pretty short too, actually. But this thing's nothing fantastic. I just have it just because that it came with a loot crate, so. I just put it with my other CDs. And then we got Fit for King, all three of their albums, uh, Creation Destruction. Oh, I skipped Descendants, that's the first one. Creation Destruction, which I think is uh, Slave to Nothing, and they're both, they're kind of like even, you know, they're both like about the same to me, but I love both of their, both of those two albums. Descendants is good, but I don't know, I just like these two better. But Fit for King's awesome, I've seen them twice, I think, already. <laughs> Fleetwood Mac, my second favorite band ever i don't know they're kind of tied with led zeppelin as my second and third um but i actually got to see fleetwood mac in concert um last year and they were fantastic so um yeah this is actually my favorite album of all time uh rumors so yes can't recommend this anymore and this is like the three disc set that comes with like outtakes and the live version and stuff so yeah <laughs> Alright, I'm going to cut away real quick because I think uh, I'm running on 12 minutes here. Alright, so back to this. Uh, so, we got Fleetwood Mac, the very best of Fleetwood Mac. Two CDs. This comes with like their greatest hits. There's a lot of songs from Rumors on here, but the reason why I bought this was because um, I didn't really feel like buying all of Fleetwood Mac CDs just because some of their CDs aren't really the best, you know what I mean? But their best stuff is just fantastic. So what I did, I went, went and got this to have all their best tracks. The rest of their best tracks is majority of them are already on rumors. So, so this has like Rihanna and all other stuff on here. Um, over my head and uh, whatever's not on rumors, that's great, <laughs> basically. And then Franzilla, this is the lead singer from Attila. This was his uh, debut album as a rapper. He's flicking you off on the cover. Um, he's all right as a rapper. I don't know. He's. It says your new favorite rapper. No, <laughs> no way. Sorry, um, but uh, yeah, he was alright, I guess. The CD's okay. The main reason I bought it was because he offered all these bundles on his website. If you buy it, it'll come with the tank top. If you buy it, it'll come with a beanie. I bought the one that came with the tank top. This says Franzil on it, and it's pretty cool looking. So Next, we got all three J. Cole's albums, and then the most recently his fourth, well, it's not his fourth album, but this was a live album from Forest Hills Drive Tour, and that's the tour I saw him on last year, so... I said I might as well get that. And it's pretty good. I like all the tracks and how it sounds and everything. That was from the last show he played in his hometown of Fayetteville, North Carolina. And yeah, we got the first CD, Cold World, The Silent Story, which is class. I think all three of these are classics. <laughs> I love J. Cole. He's like my favorite rapper. Born Sinner, which is fantastic. 2014, Forest Hills Drive. And yes, I do know his old stuff, like The Come Up and The Warm Up, Friday Night Lights. I've listened to all those, and he's fantastic, so. <laughs> yes. And then these two blank ones here are Kendrick Lamar. Um, this was one of his mixtapes, Overly Dedicated, which is actually really popular. And then this one, I bought these off Amazon, by the way. Section 80 was his first studio album. Um, I, for the life of me, is there a release of this that's not like this? You know, did it have a normal release? Like, look, there's nothing... I mean, I kind of want to say there is, because when you open it up, it's got, like, this on, on here, which looks like it would be the back of the CD, but it's really just one piece. Like, this is, like, a, a custom-made thing, obviously. Look. Like, I'm pretty sure this didn't have a real physical release, because most mixtapes don't. But I bought that off Amazon thinking um, there would be the actual CDs, because, like, I can't find these any the actual CD of this anywhere. But it said, oh, Section 80 CD and Overly Dedicated, so I bought it, but it came like this. Did they ever make a Section 80 that's, like, you know, a regular CD with actual artwork on the side and on the back? Let me know. So, yeah. So I looked everywhere for that, but I couldn't find it. So I just resorted to buying that off Amazon, like I said. Then we got Good Kid Mad City, which is amazing. Uh, to Pimp a Butterfly, what can I say? Just spectacular. And then right after that, we have all Led Zeppelin. I love Led Zeppelin, like I said, in my top, top three. <laughs> Um, yeah, so, all, all of these, by the way, are the 2014, 
I know. So 20, it's kind of, it was 2014 and into 2015, all reissues. So like, yeah, or no, they all 2015. I can't remember for the life of me. I feel like they're all 2015 actually. But uh, yeah, all their CDs got remastered and put out. And I have two physical graffitis because I had this for years and years, physical graffiti, this old CD. And then eventually all these remastered ones came out. So I just bought all these. <laughs> And House of the Holy, which is this one, my second favorite album of all time, right behind Rumors. Fantastic. So yeah, that's all their CDs. Uh, one, two, three, four. Okay. House of the Holy, Physical Graffiti, Presence, In Through the Outdoor, and Coda. Down here we got Nirvana, Nevermind. That is the 20th anniversary edition. It's kind of hard to see. And we got The Wall by Pink Floyd. I actually don't own Dark Side of the Moon on CD, but I do have the full album on my phone and whatnot and other Pink Floyd songs. And Pink Floyd's awesome. <laughs> Dark Side of the Moon is fantastic. Their best album, in my opinion. And then we got their most recent CD, The Endless River. This is like the Best Buy exclusive. It comes like a, a Blu-ray in it, I think. Which is just like takes from their studio sessions or something like that, I think. And it comes with like postcards and whatnot in there. <laughs> And then Rage Against the Machine, 20th anniversary of their self-titled album. This is great. Um, School by Q, Oxymoron. <laughs> I love that album. TV on the Radio. Um, TV on the Radio, they had a song in Breaking Bad. Um, or I should say Breaking Bad used one of their songs. It was called DLZ and it was in Season 2, I think. And that song was amazing. So I was like, I might as well start listening to TV on the Radio. And I did. And then their new album came out, and I bought it, and it's not that bad, that great, but it's got a cool looking cover. Like, when you move this, see, look, it looks like it's moving. See that? That's pretty cool. Basically what it is, it's just a regular picture, but they have this thing with black and white lines on it. Or black and clear lines, I should say. And when you move it up and down, it makes it look like it's going crazy. See that? It comes out really good on the camera, I'm surprised. So yeah, that's that. Um, the CD's okay. And then we got the Big Lebowski soundtrack. I got this at a flea market, actually. That's the reason why I have it. Um, oh, by the way, in terms of the ABC order, TV on the radio is last for artists. And then after that, for various artists, I'll just qualify as V. You know what I mean? Or TV on the radio is not last. I have The weekend over here. And Weezer. What am I saying? But the reason why these are here is for V, various artists. I kind of do it how iTunes organizes it on, you know, on iTunes. Godfather, this is like music from the first three movies. Or the only... Can't be the first three movies if there's only three movies. The all three movies, I should say. Selected tracks from that. I got that at Fye Two for like a good price. Fye Two. What did I get from Fye in the first place? What am I talking about? I just got it for a good price at Fye. Um, Big Lebowski is from a flea market. Yeah. All right. And Gardens of the Galaxy. Um, the soundtrack, which they had an amazing soundtrack and had a bunch of classic songs that I didn't have, so I said I'll just buy it. <laughs> and then we got. Um, this, I got at Warp Tour 2014. This was like a sampler, and it's got some good tracks on it. Yeah. It was alright. Nothing fantastic. I just, I mean, it was free, so I kept it, obviously. Alright. Various artists, of course. And then we get to W, The Weeknd. This is the Trilogy album, which I love Trilogy. Like, I would honestly put this in my top ten albums ever. Like, I love this thing so much. The Weeknd is just... He's fantastic, if you ask me. Like, I was big into him before he got, you know, before he got mainstream. If you had, Like, I was listening to him in, like, 2012, I think. I don't think he was that mainstream yet, 2012. Like, right now, obviously, he's big mainstream. But, yeah, I've been a big fan of his. And, oh, man, this thing is fantastic. I love Trilogy. So many good tracks on there. Um, and then we got Kiss Land, which kind of sucks. Well, it doesn't suck. It's just like, I don't know what happened with this. This was weird. Beauty Behind the Madness was a lot better. That's his mainstream album now, but it was still a lot better than this. But this CD's interesting. It like comes out like this. You know what I mean? It looks like Japan and stuff. Japanese lettering, I should say. But this has one of my favorite tracks by the weekend ever. Tears in the Rain. I love that track. Everything else on this, though, kind of sucks. The only reason I would give this any credit is for Tears in the Rain. Tears in the Rain's like... It's a fantastic song. It's really long too. It's like eight minutes, I think. Um, definitely the weakest, the weekend's longest song. And then we got Weezer five album collection. This was for a good price at Best Buy, so I just bought it. I'm not a huge Weezer fan or anything, but I love these are all great albums in here. So I said, why not? And then this is from a local band, uh, Zen. 
I know them personally, they're really good, and hopefully one day they make it big, because this is their demo, and I listen to it, it's really good. But if they ever make it big one day, who knows, this might be worth something. So that's like a, a original demo right there, signed by them. Well, not signed, but one of them just wrote Zen on it, so... And then um, over here, I keep my music-related movies and documentaries. First, I have a Blu-ray. Like, the way, re reason I did it like this, I put Blu-ray first and then DVD. So, like, if I ever get more, I'll have more Blu-rays on the left and DVDs on the right. This is Metallica Through the Never, which is the concert movie they did, which is pretty good. Let's see if I can focus a little better. There you go. And you didn't see any Metallica CDs, uh, but I do have tons of their music on my, I my uh, iPods and my phone and whatnot. Event Sevenfold All Access, which is their documentary, which is a really good documentary. George Harrison, Living in the Material World, their uh, documentary on George Harrison, directed by Morin Scorsese. This is two discs, and it's really good. I love George Harrison, he's my favorite Beatle. Uh, Michael Jackson's This Is It, DVD, concert movie, of course. I'm pretty sure everybody's seen that. And then Pink Floyd, The Wall, this is the movie, which is, you know, classic. And it came with a poster and stuff in it, which is cool, so... Yeah, that's my CDs and my music-related movies collection. <laughs> so, yes. If you enjoyed this, like, subscribe, you know, check out my other videos, whatever. And, yeah. Feel free to, to discuss anything in the comments. I like talking about music and whatnot, so. Alright. Thank you for watching.